Today I'm going to show you how to paint a value scale using Tempera Paint. You're going to need um, one color of paint that you want to make uh, the main color of the value scale. You'll need white to mix tints and black to mix shades. You'll also want some kind of surface to mix your paint on. You can either do that on the paint palette itself or if you don't really have room you can grab a plastic mixing lid, which is my preferred method of working. Um, to paint your value scale, you have to plan out how many colors you're going to have. In this case, I'm going to do four colors of value. Um, starting with two lighter colors, which is color plus white, called a tint, and then two darker colors, which is your color with some black added to it, which is known as a shade. So, when you're mixing um, tints and shades, you always want to start with the lighter of the two colors first and gradually add in a little bit of the darker color. So in the case of my very lightest color, I'm going to start with white, because white is the very lightest color. I'm going to put some down on my mixing lid, and then I'm going to grab just a tiny bit of my main color, of my red, and then I'm going to mix it in all the way, and you'll see how quickly that red becomes pink. You only need a very small amount. Once I've thoroughly mixed it so it's nice and even, and it's a solid color, it's not streaky, then I can go in and paint it on my worksheet. Try to make this as neat as possible. I have kind of a big brush here, but that's okay. Alright, now I'm going to move on and do my next tint, which is still color plus white, so it just needs to be a little bit darker. So now I can just add a little bit more red to my existing mix because this was already red and white and I just added some more red to it. You can see it makes kind of a dark pink sort of shade. Make sure I get all my color mixed in. And then I'm going to paint that down. So you can see a definite change from my first color to my second color. If you were doing a larger value scale with more than four color changes, you would have to be a little bit more careful about how much you mix so that you get more distinct shades. In this case, we only need um, two different tints there. Now I'm going to wash my brush out completely because I'm about to switch colors. These two colors are tints, which means they're color plus white. My next two squares are going to be shades, which means color plus black. So I definitely do not want to use this color from before because that has white in it. You never want to mix color with white and black because it will start to get gray. White and black together make gray. So knowing that I'm going to mix shades, color plus black, I have to start with the lighter of the two colors. Between red and black, red is the lighter of the two colors. So I'm going to take a big glob of red, put it on this other side so again they don't intermix. Put down some red and this time I'm going to take a tiny bit of black. And I'm going to mix that in. And already you can see the color change. You can also see how it's different from my other color I just did. So I'm going to paint this down. Again, trying to be kind of neat. Best as I can. And again, you can see the distinct color change. Now, to mix my darkest shade, I'm going to take a little bit more black. That's a lot of black. You know what? It is okay. Once I mix it in here, I get this really dark, kind of burgundy, maroonish, kind of brown. Make sure I mix it in so it's not streaky, very nice and even. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint that down. One of the important things is to make sure you don't have a lot of water mixed in with your color because that will make them look really transparent, which you don't want. So when you do mix your brush, make sure that you dry it off really well with some paper towels. Um, but there's my value scale of four distinct colors. Again, if you were going to do more colors, you would probably want to be even lighter over here or even darker over here, and you would add more or less white or black depending on the tints or the shades that you're mixing. So, good job. See you later.